does HRT cause dementia? This is an important question for many women who are taking HRT for menopausal symptoms, but don't want to end up with dementia. A recent, recent study in June 2023, published in the academic journal, the BMJ, suggested there may be a link between HRT and dementia. Compared with women who'd never used HRT, users were more likely to develop dementia. The results are expressed as a hazard ratio. The hazard ratio is 1.24. What does that mean? A hazard ratio of one means that at any particular time, the event rates are the same in both groups. A hazard ratio of two means that at any particular time, twice as many patients in one group are experiencing an event compared to the control group. So a hazard ratio of 1.24 is high. But does this mean HRT is causing dementia? We just don't know. Let me explain why. One big possibility is that women who take HRT are also likely to suffer from dementia. Why could that be? Dementia has many known risk factors and some of them are also risk factors for having problematic menopause symptoms. Dementia risks include being overweight, having high alcohol consumption, smoking, depression, physical inactivity and social isolation. These are also risk factors for having a troublesome menopausal symptoms. So women who ask for HRT because of their troublesome menopause symptoms caused by lifestyle factors are more likely to suffer from dementia caused by lifestyle factors. This could in fact explain all the difference between these two groups. We just don't know. It could mean that HRT has no effect in and of itself on dementia. Does that mean you should go on taking HRT? Personally, I'm not a fan of HRT. I know that many women can make lifestyle changes so that they minimise the number of menopause problems they experience. This can mean that they don't need HRT. More importantly, they are also making the lifestyle changes that will benefit them for the rest of their lives. Do watch my YouTube video on how to stop hot, hot flashes without HRT. The link to it is in the video description. I also have written a book on menopause weight loss. There's a link in the video description to that as well. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot.